The Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates there are about 3,200 Halloween-related injuries that wind up in the emergency room. To tell us more on how to keep our kids safe, we're actually joined by emergency pediatric physician, Dr. Christina Johns. Dr. Johns, what kind of injuries are we talking about do you typically see during Halloween? You know, uh, it runs the gamut for sure, depending on the costume and the location. But I will say that the most common thing we see are trips and falls. So it's it's cuts and sprains and strains because costumes are either dragging behind kids and they get caught up and trip and fall, or there is a burn because the sleeve actually got caught on fire from a candle that was in a pumpkin and a child reached in. Those are the common types of things that we see, and they really uh, run the spectrum from mild to being quite severe. So when you're talking about mild to quite severe, I am one of those parents that are just kind of like, oh no, my kid got a scrape to the hospital. Like, Am I overdoing it? Like, where is the spectrum of when should we go to the hospital or something that we can take care of at home? You know, I think that this is uh, really an individual case specific type of a thing. What I would say is that if you are concerned, this is where your on call pediatric healthcare professional can really guide you. And rather than making the wrong decision, start there. That telephone triage can really be incredibly helpful and save you time and stress. Yes, we. I need that. I need somebody to talk to. Okay, so we have about 20 seconds left. Are there any other ways to keep our kids safe during Halloween? You know, I uh, say a couple of things. First of all, don't eat while kids are out trick-or-treating. That's how choking can happen, and a lot of folks forget about that. Make sure you sort through your candy, uh, your child's candy, before giving it to them to make sure anything that's small pieces for little kids and choking, that can be an issue. Make sure that uh, the costumes aren't so dark that nobody can see them. Oh, I know my Harry Potter kid. I yeah, I got to get him glow sticks. Just light him up. <laughs> All right, Dr. John, thank you so much for joining us. Very helpful information here. Thank you. Thank you.